I thank you so very much for this extraordinary opportunity to wish my dear friend Phyllis Chesler a very happy 75th birthday. The organizers of this fabulous birthday tribute to Phyllis asked how she impacted my life, both personally and professionally. I guess my first reaction is to ask, how hasn't she impacted my life? Um, I first met Phyllis in June of 2007 when I interviewed her for a cover story in the Jewish press. And what an incredibly wonderful evening that was. I had just met and interviewed not only a feminist icon, but a prodigious truth teller, a stalwart defender of women's rights, human rights, and an intrepid spokesperson for the much maligned state of Israel. More than that, I came to know a woman who is a true paradigm of chesed, kindness, rachmonis, compassion, das, understanding, and a literal repository of chachma, wisdom. Since that time, I've interviewed Phyllis on a number of occasions, I've conducted research for her books, and I've made it my business to try and spread her writings far and wide in the world of the print media and in cyberspace. With each precious moment spent in Phyllis's company, not only have I learned what it means to be a true mensch, but I have discovered the power within me to make a difference in this world, or at least to make a valiant attempt at it. When we do get together, Phyllis always makes me feel so special, so vital, so needed. And I do indeed thank her that we can spend those special moments together. And speaking of special moments, I will always remember how overjoyed I was to have her and Brochaleya at my daughter's wedding. I'm so richly blessed to have a particularly loyal friend in Phyllis, but her love does not stop there. Phyllis, I could say more, much more, but for the sake of brevity, I raise my proverbial glass to you on the occasion of your 75th birthday. May you go from strength to strength, may you be gesund and stark and bench, and may you continue to spread your special light until 120. I love you.